Today we learned about reflections. We learned that <clears throat> if you reflect in the line uh, in the x-axis, where's my pen? Blue. In the x-axis, then what was the equation? What what did we do? What values did we change? I guess is what I'm asking. Well, let's look at the picture. We went from this point to that point, and from this point, or sorry, from this point to that point. So what values are we changing? X's or Y's? The Y's. The Y's. So that's represented by negative F of X. That's a flip over the X axis. Let's just say make Y's negative. And by negative, I mean you put a negative in front of it. So if it's already negative, it becomes positive. <clears throat> okay, the middle one. We're reflecting in the Y axis. So if you look at the graph, this point is becoming that point. And this point here switches there. So what values are we changing there? We're changing our x values. So we reflect in the y-axis. And that's represented by f of negative x. It basically it tells you what you're doing. It's negative x. And then the one we did last chapter, you reflect in the line y is equal to x, this dashed line here. What did we call that? It's a mirror line, but what type of reflection is this? It's an inverse. And we would represent that as f to the minus 1 of x, or x is equal to f of y. What do you do when you're graphing the inverse? How do you graph it? Flip the xy. Switch the xy's. Okay. Uh, you need to know that notation. Or you're going to get a sticky note thing again. You can write it on there, but you have to know it at some point. Okay. So, because <clears throat> I won't say reflect this graph in the line, blah, 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 blah. I'll just say sketch y is equal to f of negative x. You have to know what that means. We okay? Questions? Concerns? All right. Next page, people. We're going to practice it. These are not very good graphs. I'll zoom right in here. Boom. They've conveniently marked the points for us, so this is nice. Are we ready? What's the first one? What are we doing? Yeah, so you're, this means it's a flip. Why are we not writing? What's going on here? It's a flip over the x-axis, which means y becomes negative y. That's what you're doing, right? So they've conveniently marked everything. So just what values don't change? That's actually a good point. The x-intercepts. People just yelled it. Sorry. But why don't the x-intercepts change? Because y is 0. So that point stays the same, and this point stays the same, and that point stays the same. Everything else, you just change the y value, put a negative in front of it. So this one up here, negative 4, 6 becomes... Six, negative four, one, two. No, negative four, negative six. So it flips down to there. And two, six becomes two, negative six. And that's that. Zero, four becomes. I connect the points as I go. It's up to you if you want to do it. There. So you can see we just flipped it right over the x-axis.
Well, I got many reasons. I just can't say them. <laughs> now nah, it's being recorded. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Y is equal to f of negative x. What does that mean? Flip over the y. What do we change? X goes to negative x. What the, what um, <clears throat> what point doesn't change? Y intercept. So this point right here stays the same. Everything else. The y stays the same, and you just change the x's. So if we're at negative 5 here, it becomes positive 5. Negative 4 becomes 1, 2, 3, positive 4. Negative 2 becomes negative 2. Uh, 4, 0 becomes... That is nine zero. Boom. So there's the graph. So you can see we just flipped it sideways or over the y axis. Is that okay? Just the x values. Just the x. So, so it would just be like, so it would just be like, so for example, be like two, it would just become two six. Like it just what the, the y would change. This one right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Moves to right. There. Okay. All right. Last one. What is this thing? I don't like doing inverses. It gets confusing. But my brain's very simple. So, all right, this is an inverse. So, what do we do for an inverse? Switch the xy's. Oh, this is going to be. All right. I'm going to freeze it and see if we match it. There's a 65% chance I get this wrong. Here we go. Zero and negative five. Six negative two. Uh, four zero zero four. All right, people have it? We ready for the magic? Boom! <laughs> Wrecked my chain here. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, so. Went wrong. Is that good? Just switch the XYs. Inverses. You just have to be careful, right? When you're drawing it and you mark all the points correctly. Any questions? All right. Last three for this lesson. <clears throat> Tell me what we did. So we're going from the thin one here to the dark one. This one to this one. What? is the reflection is it an inverse is it over the x is it over the y so the first one is an inverse how do you know just do because you can yeah like you can't see if if you took this point right here and i flipped it over the y you'd get a graph right there right which that doesn't match if i flipped it over the x it would be down there 
which doesn't match. So the only thing left is inverse. And if you do the mirror line, that was a bad mirror line, but you can see it's a, you can see the reflection right across that. Okay, so this is an inverse. What's the symbol for inverse? So there's this one, or you can say f to the minus one. Are you allowed to say f to the minus one for this one? Why? Because it is a function, so you can use that one. All right. B. How did we flip it? Yeah, because the inverse is a function because it passes the vertical line test. Um, B. What type of uh, flip did we do? Over the y-axis. So how do you represent that? What's the equation? Yeah, we changed the x values. So it's y is equal to f of negative x. And again, you can see that that point goes directly there. This point goes directly there. And the final one, process of elimination. Negative f of x, because this point became that point, and this point became that point. All right. Are we OK with that? Sorry. That's the other way to do it. So the points that don't change, it's on the y-intercept in this one, which is when you go over the y-axis. In this one, it's the x-intercept doesn't change. And we never really talked about this. The points that don't change on an inverse are the, the points that are on the line, on the mirror line. y is equal to x, which means they have the same xy coordinates. So like that point right there is negative 1, negative 1. So when you switch them, you get negative one, negative one. Okay? All right. Are we happy? Okay. I need you. I would like you. I would appreciate if you would do question number five and six. And just because it's so much fun. 11 and 12, please. 